Tibet is an occupied country. Throughout China's 62-year-long military occupation, Tibetans have defiantly resisted Beijing's colonial rule. In 2008, demonstrations swept the Tibetan plateau in the most widespread and united uprisings by the Tibetan people since China's invasion. Despite arrests, torture, disappearances and killings, Tibetans across Tibet have continued to stand up and reject China's rule with fearlessness and daring through cultural resistance, non-cooperation and protest. Today, that resistance has taken an unprecedented turn. More than 20 Tibetan monks, nuns and lay people have set themselves on fire to demand freedom for Tibet and the return of the Dalai Lama. It is China's failed policies, human rights abuses and continued crackdown in Tibet that have provoked this wave of self-immolation. At least 15 Tibetans have died through this intensely political act of self-immolation. Displaying courage and integrity in their final acts of devotion and defiance, these Tibetans are both calling the world's attention to the tremendous suffering of the Tibetan people under Beijing's rule and demonstrating they will not be controlled by China. Lama Seba, a respected religious and community leader, appealed for Tibetan unity before he self-immolated, saying, unite and work together to build a strong and prosperous Tibetan nation. In recent months, Tibetans in increasingly large numbers have taken to the streets to protest Chinese rule. They are moving beyond fear of China's violent regime. We condemn China's brutal response to Tibetans' non-violent cries for freedom. The international community must stand together in support of Tibet. Through grassroots actions and advocacy, Tibet groups around the globe have been telling the world what is happening in Tibet and demanding our governments take urgent political action. But China's unwillingness to acknowledge international concern means we need a much stronger response. We demand immediate, coordinated public action by world governments. We call on governments to urgently establish a forum for Tibet to discuss, agree and implement a multilateral diplomatic strategy on behalf of the Tibetan people. Now is the time for the world leaders to unite and address the Chinese government in one voice. To demand that China cease all actions and policies that are contributing to the tensions, unrest and self-immolations inside Tibet. And to demand that China respond positively to the calls of Tibetans for freedom and the return of the Dalai Lama. The International Tibet Network and its members vow to intensify its effort in support of Tibetans inside Tibet and call on world governments, international institutions, and the global community to stand on the right side of history and join us in pressuring the Chinese government to end its siege on the Tibetan nation and the Tibetan people and meaningfully address their grievances so that they can live their lives in the freedom and peace they have sacrificed so much to achieve.